everybody, it's Cheyenne and welcome back to my channel. Today we're just doing a little chit chat, kind of get ready with me, see how you guys are doing, see how I'm doing, what I've been up to, and yeah, just a little check-in. So let's get started and I want to say I'm definitely not a beauty guru, so my setup here is not that great, but also I'm just like an everyday makeup wearer, so don't judge me. <laughs> I'm actually going, well, yesterday was my birthday. I'm 29, almost to the 30s, but that's okay. <laughs> but um, I'm actually going to Vegas today. I'm meeting my husband there. Um, he's been there this week for a work trip and we thought it'd be fun for me to come down at the end of the week since it's my birthday week and then kind of enjoy the weekend. And we possibly might be driving to the Grand Canyon. So I'm super excited about that. I hope the weather is good enough for that because I have heard that this time of year can be really foggy and I don't want to drive all the way to the Grand Canyon and then we're not able to see it. So yeah, I'm hoping the weather's good. It looks like the weather's good in Vegas. It actually snowed here in Oregon. Um, it actually snowed quite a bit, but it hasn't delayed my flight. So I'm hoping it doesn't, <laughs> but I didn't have power at all this morning. And I was like kind of freaking out because I had some stuff I needed to do before my flight. One of them being like showering and blow drying my hair. And yeah, I was like, this is not gonna work out. And I needed to film some YouTube videos, <sighs> but it finally came back on. And I'm the type of person that I, we don't usually use our heat very often. So we don't sleep with our heat on. So my house was absolutely freezing this morning. It was like 54 degrees in here. But anyways, I'm talking too much per usual. So let's start putting on this makeup because I need to get ready for my flight. <clears throat> I actually got this stuff the other day and I haven't tried it yet, so let's try it. It's called, it's First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys are having a good week. My week's been pretty good. I did have to work on my birthday, but that's okay. I chose to because I'm actually taking off a day this week to go to Vegas. Um, and then yesterday I got two free coffees, which I was super stoked for. Dutch Brothers always gives you free coffees on your birthdays, so I definitely take advantage of that. <laughs> this stuff smells really good. It seems to be pretty tacky too, which will be good. I never know if I'm putting too much of this stuff on. I feel like I put so much primer on when I do use it. And then I watch like actual beauty gurus and they don't put that much on, but oh well. I do like this though, it smells good. Hmm. Smells really good. But yeah, my flight is later this afternoon to Vegas and I, I don't know. Oh, also, I'm, I talk way too much. But anyways, I put like um, a self tanning lotion on last night and I woke up this morning and I was pretty tan, but it said, the direction said to rinse off in the morning. So I did that, but I feel like a lot of it's gone now, but I don't know. I feel like I'm still kind of tan, not as pasty as the usual. So I'm gonna use this. This is like my summertime foundation, but I feel like it is still, it's pretty dark. Maybe I shouldn't, but you know, whatevs, gonna use it anyways. <clears throat> but anywho, back to the, well, maybe it's not too bad. Back to flying. I don't know about you guys, but I hate takeoff. Like that's my least favorite part. I don't know why. <laughs> I've always had a fear of takeoff because I just imagine the same thing when, I, when I'm in elevators, I imagine watching, when I watched Willy Wonka as a little kid, Willy Wonka at the Chocolate Factory, when that elevator shot out of the top of the building, it absolutely terrified me. I, like, that did not look fun to me at all. It looked terrifying. So I always imagine that when I'm in elevators and then flying too, like just going off into the air. I don't know, something about it just really freaks me out. So I usually have to have a drink before <laughs> getting on the plane. So I'm glad it's a later flight 
so I can um, go to like the bar inside the airport and just have a little a little cocktail and cool down. And this is actually my first time flying by myself too. So we'll see how that goes. I mean, I'm sure I'll be fine, but I'm definitely going to want a drink to calm down. I have this big pimple on my neck too right now, which is driving me insane. And then if you wanted to know too, this is Cosmetics CC Cream. Um, this is not the illuminating one. I don't like the illuminating one, but this color is light. And it's usually what I use in the summertime because it has the SPF in there and it's a little bit darker. Even though the shade is light, I, it's, it's dark for my skin tone. But it seems to be blending pretty well. So maybe I do have some self tanner on. I don't know. And then this of course is just the Tarte Shape Tape. This is Fair Beige. I'm just gonna put that under my eyes, like so. I'm gonna kinda use you guys as a little mirror. Yeah, like I said in my New Year's um, resolution video, I want to work on my channel this year by like making an intro and maybe making a better banner and things like that. I also have thought about maybe making some merchandise. I thought that'd be really fun. I see a lot of people have like the Teespring shops, you know, below um, their videos and it seems like it's pretty easy to do. I need to look into like what I can put on shirts and stuff that I would be able to sell. Maybe possibly a logo as well. But I think that would be really fun to make some merchandise because I don't know, maybe I'm just a nerd, but I love like teeth socks and things like that, um, especially coffee mugs. Just dental things can be fun, like stickers to put on your hydro flask. So if you guys have any um, suggestions, please leave them down below, or even anything that I say that you think would be funny to put on merchandise. I have a few sayings, but I don't really think I have like a saying. But yeah, just put some things down below of some things you guys might be interested in seeing in the merchandise store because I definitely want to try to make stuff or create stuff that you guys would like and be interested in. I'm just doing like a really simple easy makeup look today. I don't want to do anything crazy and lately I've just been using this for powder. It's the ColourPop um, No Filter Sheer Pressed Powder in shade Light. I really like this. I was using um, this powder, Airspun, but I feel like when I bake with it, I just look super dry, like it sticks to all my dry areas and I wasn't a fan. So lately I've just been using this and I just dab this big like powder brush in here, which is a Morphe MB39 and I just kind of dab it all over you guys for um, birthday wishes like on Instagram and Snapchat that's so sweet and I just appreciate all of them it was just a really good birthday I got some flowers sent to my office from my friend and then um, my work gave me a really pretty bouquet actually it was a candy bouquet <laughs> because I knew I was going out of town and they didn't want to give me flowers because I thought that they would probably die and I wouldn't be able to enjoy them but um it's like a six pack of Coke and it has all this, all these candy bars all over it. It's actually really cute. But then I'm like, crap, because I'm trying to lose like holiday weight. And yeah, I actually haven't opened it yet, but it has like Almond Joys and M&Ms and Snickers, just like a bunch of good stuff that I definitely do not need. And then yeah, a few other people gave me some gifts. It was just really sweet. It meant a lot to me. All right, I think I'm all powdered up here. Gotta remember to put stuff back into my makeup bag so I don't forget it, <laughs> because I would do that. All right, so now I'm just gonna use the Kate Von D Shade and Light Palette. I always mix these two here together and just dab under my under eye. This is more like my highlight. I've 
been using um, the contour shades in here too. I didn't used to like them. I feel like they kind of were a little bit muddy, but I've actually been really liking them lately. It's kind of weird how it changes, but maybe it's because it's winter time. So I like that it's a little bit more cool toned. Um, it's not like bronze, like very bronzery. Is that a word? <laughs> It's not all like shimmery like the summertime, so maybe that's why I'm liking it. Um, there's not really a particular shade that I like. I usually go for the middle one. So, and I have this brush here that I've been using. It's a Morphe M530. That's what I've been using lately for my bronzer. Just put that on the cheekbones. Well, not on the cheekbones, but that little line right here. One thing I don't like about this palette is it does have a lot of fallout and it gets all into the highlight, which kind of bugs me. Because I constantly have to blow it like that. Otherwise, they get all mixed together. And then of course I always do my jawline. I've been seeing a lot of people do like the side of their neck lately. Particularly learning to be fearless, Alexandria or Alex, whatever you want to call her. Oh no, it wasn't her. I did see her do it in a recent video, but it was Raw Beauty by Christy. She did it in a video and she did cream. I think it was cream and she put it on the side of her neck and then she forgot to blend it in. It was pretty funny. I love her, she cracks me up. But anywho, and then I just do my forehead like so. Up here. a little bit more really enhance those cheekbones I put a little bit on my nose but try to contour it but yeah I'm not very good at it Now I'm gonna go back through with the light again. And just do any blending that I need to do. Oh man, there's been so much drama on YouTube lately. So much drama. The whole Nick Accato, Avocado and Stephanie Sue and then Trisha Paytas getting involved in it. I haven't even really been keeping up with it because I think it's all, I think Trisha Paytas getting involved in it is just really silly. I don't see why she's involved, but there's so many different opinions on it. It's just a lot, but and then the whole Nikki tutorials thing, I'm so proud of her for being able to come out and take back her power and say her side of the story. It's really sad that she felt that she had to do that, that she was being blackmailed. Um, but her video was amazing. And <clears throat> what she said in it, she said it perfectly and she just spoke really well. And I could tell that it meant a lot to her and it was really hard for her to do. And I'm really happy to see that she is getting a lot of support because um, I could tell in the video that she was really scared and it was just really sad that she was just really scared and she kept saying like I'm still Nikki and and she is she's she's Nikki and she does makeup tutorials and she's fantastic at makeup and it doesn't change anything about her but I was just really proud that she was able to do that it was a really really sweet video it's just really sad that she felt like she was forced to do that, but she did a really good job handling the situation, I think. But yeah, there's just been lots of going on on YouTube lately. 
and I'm just over here, you know, talking about dental assisting. <laughs> but anyways, so now we're gonna put some blush on. Let me find it out of my big bag. I had packed all this. This was not a smart choice on my end. I was trying to like save myself time and be like, let me pack this and now it's an inconvenience. All right, and this is Flower Pots Powder Blush in Peach Prime Rose. I don't even know where I got this from. I, I probably got it at a drugstore, I would assume. Gonna dab it on my cheekbones. I have to smile when I put on blush. And I also love blush. <laughs> I remember in high school, I had this friend and she had told me that her friends called me blush because they felt that I wore too much of it. But heck them, I love blush and I will keep wearing a lot of it. But um, <laughs> so we did that. I need to do my eyebrows. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think what else has been going on. Just been working. Nothing too crazy. Um, I use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade for my eyebrows. This is color dark brown. And this is a little brush that it comes with. And I'm going to look over here real quick and do that. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, I'm back. This eyebrow is like more of like a rounded arch and this one actually has like a pretty good arch. Eyebrows are just never going to be identical twins. <laughs> never, ever, ever. And then I always put on um, the Benefit Gimme Brow. And this is in shade six. I always put that on just to help keep them in place. And my favorite thing about this one is I love how tiny the little brush is. I hate the big brushes on the eyebrows because I always go off of them but the only downside of this is it does have a color so sometimes if I go off my eyebrow by accident then it leaves like a big brown streak but I love how tiny the little brush is all right and Avon is them ready to roll <laughs> now it's gonna do some Easy peasy eyeshadow, or I could do a highlight. Let's do a highlight. So we're gonna do a highlight real quick. This is Flexitarian by um, ColourPop. It's a really nice eye, or a really nice highlight. It is kind of chunky, I think, though. But I just love the um, color. Or maybe because mine's just old. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it's getting kind of chunky. but I think it's just a really pretty color. I don't know if it's really showing up on camera, but do you see that? I think it's kind of just natural too. Cause you know, a highlight is so natural. I put way too much on the side, so I gotta blend this out. So my tip of my nose, Cupid's bow. And then I've been loving this brush for it. Um, this is a Morphe. M532. I used to use a larger brush and it would just get all over the place. So this really helps keep it, you know, just in that highlighted on top of your cheekbone area. Um, it just used to get like all over my cheekbone and it looked weird, I thought. All right, so we have that done. So now let's do a little eyeshadow. I'm gonna use the Conspiracy palette. I don't know if you guys were able to get one, but um, this was my first <sighs> Jeffree Star palette. And I mean, the formula is great. I do love the palette a lot. I 
had to buy it because I love neon colors and this neon color just spoke to me and I just really wanted it. I thought the series was great, but to be honest, I'm not like crazy with my color selection on my eyes. I always do neutrals, so I usually just use the brown shades. Um, I did use this really pretty purpley color um, under my eyes once for a look and it was really pretty. There's a lot of really pretty colors on here. Um, it's just colors that I'm not gonna use on the daily, but it's a really good palette. Like the formula is great. And this was my first Jeffree Star palette, like I said, so it's just amazing amazing quality but I really like Tanacon and diet root beer that's usually what I do just for like a normal everyday look I'm gonna grab this brush here this is a real I think it's real techniques um and it's a, the number is 203 so I always just dab into the Tanacon oh look there I am in the mirror hi <laughs> there is a lot of fallout though I mean just to be honest, it does have a lot of fallout, but I mean, most palettes do, honestly. But anyways, I'm just gonna go over the eyelid with this. I don't use a primer on my eyelids because I have very dry eyelids and I feel like it just makes them look all crackly and gross. So it's not something that I do, but it would help your eyeshadow stick on better, definitely. So I'm just gonna kind of go all over the place with this. And then I'm gonna dip into the Diet Root Beer. And just go on the outer corner and the crease. And then I'm gonna do that the other side as well. And then I'll use a different brush to kind of blend it out. I'm gonna grab this brush, which is oh real technique, real technique brush as well, and it's deluxe crease brush. And I'm just gonna kind of blend that all in. Just to find the eyes a little bit. Like I said, I'm doing a very simple makeup look. Um and then I like to, this is just a cheapo brush I got, it's Anjoy, it's the brand. <laughs> um, and I put that back at the Diet Root Beer and I just go on the lower lash line. Just to kind of give some definition down there. I'm sorry, I keep looking this way because my mirror is over there, it's just easier for me to see. have to open my mouth when I do that. don't know why. <laughs> um, and then I'll get this, this brush again and I'll kind of just blend it out a little bit. Or I guess kind of smoke it out. Like so. And yeah, it's just a very simple look. I like simple. And then that's about it. Um, I do have eyelash extensions on right now. And then that's about it. I do have eyelash, and that's about it. I do have eyelash extensions on right now. So I have a little wand that they give you that doesn't have any product on it. And you just use it to brush out your eyelashes. You can put mascara on your um, eyelash extension. You can put eye, you can put mascara on your eyelash extensions. Um, I just don't, I don't feel that I need to, and they last longer if you don't, so. Just brushing those puppies out. And this just kind of helps get any, you know, powder off of them, helps them 
lay a little bit better. Sometimes they get kind of like flipped around or all matted up. So yeah, it just kind of helps with that. And it's running across my bottom ones too. I don't have extensions down there, of course, but I don't know, it's habit. I have this cute little travel size Urban Decay All Nighter. Um, so I'm gonna spray that on. You're probably like, that's a lot, Cheyenne. And it was. <laughs> I just like the feeling of setting spray. Gonna let that dry a little bit. All right, and then last but not least, we have lips. Woohoo! So I just usually put a nude um, lip liner on my lips. This is um, the Kylie Jenner Cosmetics, the Kris Jenner one. It's in Todd Cranes, or it's in shade Todd Cranes. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that around my lips. This matches my lip color really well. Um, so it kind of helps me make them a little bit larger before I put on my lipstick. Alrighty. And then for color, mm, I'm, I don't know, I'm very boring with my makeup. Like it's always neutrals. Sometimes like a crazy shade of lipstick, but usually it's very boring. I do like this shade though. Um, this is Jeffree Star Androgyny. Kind of like a gosh almost like a i think it's like a purpley pink more like a mauve color i don't know it's kind of purpley to me and i think am i gonna regret this <laughs> i think i'm gonna wear this shade try not to make them too big which is hard to do when you don't have an upper lip <laughs> All right, so that's it. This is like my natural makeup look. It's pretty much what I always do. I'm really boring with this type of stuff. Um, I wish I was more creative, but I'm just not. I like the neutrals. I like to look natural. I don't want someone to look at me and be like, wow, she has a shit ton of makeup on. So I like to have like a natural look. It's like I, yeah, it's just natural. I don't know how to explain it. And there's nothing wrong with wearing a ton of makeup. Um, some people do beautiful wings and everything else. I'm just not that great at it. And I feel like my skin texture just doesn't look that good with lots of makeup. And I have tiny eyes and tiny lips. I don't know. It's a thing. This is just what I like. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of a long one, but a little chatty. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.